Okay, so um, Larry, thank you for so much for joining us. You're here with Amy Meyer's team, Team Trigger, and then my team, Team PCS. And you've been kind of, I like alliteration, so I'm going to say you've been Larry the legend. Everybody has been kind of wanting to hear from you. <laughs> so it's really awesome that you've taken the time to, to share your story with us. And your story was really cool. I got to know it a lot better um, this spring when we were able to celebrate your 100 club. I know you made it in October, but um, it, was, it was really fun. I got to get to know Larry more at 39 Club, and he just, um, he is such a mentor. Like he, he is a 100 club NMD. He is there to give back to you and, um, just kind of love on you no matter where you're at. So if you get to see Larry at conference, which you should, um, you should go up to him and introduce yourself because he's just phenomenal. And, uh, I, I've always like, I've been in the business for six years and I've seen him around the team shining star events. And he's always been what I call a quiet professional. And, um, when I found out that I knew he was big in the company, but I didn't know where he was at. So when I found out who he was a hundred club, I was like, wow, that guy is like so humble. <laughs> so, um, I don't know if you guys got a chance to read his bio, but I want to read it really quick because his life truly looks amazing. When you hear about, um, you know, building a life, making a life, not a living. I, he's just, he's made a life. So he resides in Alberta, Canada with his wife and partner, Barb. And they have raised three children to adulthood, each now who stands independently on their feet. And they have a new grandbaby on the way. So I don't know if that baby made it or not yet. Um, he'll have to tell us. Um, but he's been an independent entrepreneur for the past 40 years. Um, he's founded and operated an adventure tour company operating in 10 countries around the world for 22 years, as well as joining up with a Juice Plus company for 20, 21 years and achieving NMD in just a few. Um, he built up a network and a team that spans across Canada, U.S., and 12 different countries around the world. In 2003, he and his wife decided to buy a sailboat and depart on an adventure that would take them all around the northern coast for six months each year. So for 10 years, they've lived on a sailboat in Canmore, Alberta, because they like to ski. So you might say they experience the best of both worlds while enjoying the fruit of their effort in, national, in network marketing. It's awesome for them to get a paycheck while they sleep and play, and it's called a passive residual income, and Larry likes to teach people how to work smarter, not harder. So I'm, I'm listening to that. <laughs> um, it was in 2012 that Juice Plus introduced the new product, the Tower Garden, and that's when they decided to come back and be involved to the introduction. So for the past four years, it's been a blast for them to work with new people and teach the concepts of growing food at home. So the network has continued to grow with the Tower Garden, and just last October, which I mentioned, Larry and Barb received the milestone accomplishment of creating 100 qualified businesses around the world. Um, so he's working with a company and teaching people how to have a vibrant life and health and live the greatest and most satisfying element of his career. So that's a little bit about Larry. I can't wait for you guys to hear about how Juice Plus was introduced to him. So Larry, thank you so much. We cannot wait to hear from you. <laughs> Christy, thank you, and it's it's really a pleasure uh, to be on the call with you guys tonight. Um, you know, it it has been gosh, it's hard to believe twenty two years, uh, and time really does go by fast when when you're enjoying yourself. And I could not have imagined, truly, I could not have imagined in my life um, being uh, you know part of of a movement and a family. Uh, like the Juice Plus family that literally spans uh, around the world. So anyway, it, it's kind of ancient history, really, at this point as to how I, uh, how I met Doug, but it was literally in a previous life where, I was, as was mentioned in the, in the uh, bio, I was running an adventure tour company, and uh, I was out uh, on a marketing mission, and uh, most fortunately, uh, that mission took me down to uh, Seattle, Washington to a trade show. And I was there with my young son. He was a little young ski racer. He was about 11 years old and he was already going really fast. And uh, he wanted to come along with me because this was a bike show and he thought there's gonna be lots of mountain bikes there. And he wanted to buzz all over the, the trade show and see all the new stuff and have lots of fun. And it, of course it gave us a couple of days to be uh, to be together and have some fun, you know, when, you know, we traveled down to, and I'll just say, you know, down to the lower 48. <laughs> so uh, Cameron and I uh, were there and Cam was just 
sort of scooting all over this trade show, looking at all of these booths, because, you know, there was all kinds of uh, different, you know, kinds of companies and, you know, some ski companies, which he was, you know, totally buzzed on and some, you know, mountain bikes were kind of new then. And so he was looking at all that stuff, but he came across the, uh, uh, the juice plus booth. And he knew that, um, you know, that I was really interested in health. You know, I took tons and tons of uh, vitamins and minerals and just literally, I mean, it's not that I knew a lot about it, but if somebody said, oh, this is good for you or that's good for you, heck, it had to be, uh, you know, in my medicine cabinet. And, you know, if, if people, normal people ate a little bit of it, you know, because of the work that I did pushing big, heavy people up, you know, long, steep hills over mountain passes and such, I figured, well, I guess I need a, a, a ton. So I was eating, you know, all of those, um, uh, and I'll call it, you know, fragmented, isolated vitamins and minerals, you know, by the handful. And uh, so uh, also Cam knew that I was having trouble with my Achilles tendons. And, and, you know, that's not a pretty sight for a bicycle tour guide. And it certainly wasn't uh, fun for him to see me try to put on my ski boots when I was going out to, you know, put the race courses together for him on the weekends and all of that. And he sort of knew that he needed me in his, uh, in his ski career. So, you know, he was real concerned about me. And when he saw the Juice Plus booth at this trade show, and he was listening, he stood there and he listened. And, you know, that you know in those days they just had this big wall of uh, orange boxes you know that's what the juice plus orchard and garden came in and that's all we had in the very beginning but this little 11 year old kid was standing in front of this booth and he my booth was farther down and he yelled out to me he said hey dad dad you got to come down here and see what these guys have you're gonna love it <laughs> and so I looked down, I heard him, and I looked down, and there he was, you know, this little shiny-haired kid, bright-eyed kid, and I said, you know, okay, Cam, okay, for sure, you know, I'll come down and check that out. Well, you know, as it was, you know, I began to, uh, to really take notice of that, because, you know, whatever it was, you know, this kind of came, you know, as, what would you call that, sort of a message of love, you know, from from your little boy, you know, so I was going to take, you know, a special trip down there. But as it worked out, you know, at a trade show, I was kind of running this, this uh, booth where I was talking to lots of folks and handing out, you know, brochures, and they were watching my video and doing all of that stuff. But ultimately, you know, you got to take the pause that refreshes and the call of nature. And I just had to go to the loop. <laughs> you know. So I asked Cam to stand in the booth for me and, and just, you know, do what he could, uh, you know, and smile a lot. And I went off to the loo. And as I went in there, I saw this big, tall guy with a red beret on, you know, coming the other direction. And, you know, we sort of said hi to each other as we went in the door. And then like two men do, you know, they go in and they stand there and there's, I was staring at the wall, if you will. And, and it was Doug Barlow that was standing next to me, you know, and I looked over at him, you know, I mean, it's, it's just one of those moments where, Heck, anything can happen. And I said, well, man, how's it going? <laughs> and he, he smiled and he laughed even. And he said, it's going real good. <laughs> you know? and, and I said, well, what brings you to the trade show anyway? And of course, at that point, you know, he looked at me and he really smiled. And he said, it's funny that you ask. <laughs> so as we were walking out, he kind of told me the story that he was with a company that had uh, put lots and lots, even tons of fruits and vegetables into a capsule. And you know something? That's all he said. And so I kind of looked at him and, and I thought, oh, well, that's kind of different, you know, to, to be at, a, uh, at an adventure tour show, you know, a bicycle uh, uh, tour show. And I thought, well, you know, so what is it that brought you here to this tour show? And he said, well, you know, Larry, it's, that's another good question. He said, because we're here to talk to healthy people that want to stay healthy. And then I remembered Cameron, my son, had sort of said, Dad, you got to come down here and check it out. And as I watched him go down, he walked into that same booth, you know, where Cameron, you know, was, was calling me from. And I thought, okay, okay, I got it. 
I got to go down there. So anyway, I checked out of my booth for a little while and went down and they told me all about the fruits and vegetables. And I was very interested. Of course, you know, I had to walk away with a little brochure, but I had a chance also to talk to uh, Dr. Mitra Ray. And, you know, I heard all about whole food, uh, you know, in a capsule and the concept of whole food uh, nutrition versus, you know, fragmented, isolated vitamins and minerals. And just as you've heard so many people say, it just was simple and it just made sense, right? Well, so the trade show goes on and, uh, you know, I'm doing my job and Doug and Mitra were down there doing their job. But, you know, um, true to his word and, and faithful to his cause, uh, you know, before we left the trade show, he came down, back down to my booth and he sat down with me and he said, look, I can't let you walk out of here, you know, without, you know, taking home some juice plus. We didn't have in those days, you know, the, uh, the preferred customer program, nothing had really been put into place yet. You know, it was all very, very new to the marketplace and they were even trying to figure out how to market it. Coming to a trade show was kind of a new concept, but you know, um, I think it was working out for them. It certainly was working for me. So at any rate, I took a box of the Juice Plus home with me, a four month supply. And, and uh, also, and the, here's, here's the real luck in the thing, I mean, of course, you know, using Juice Plus was my salvation, if you will, you know, to help me put my my uh, Achilles tendons, you know, back into good order, where you know they'd be nice, strong rubber bands, and I could I could uh, be much more comfortable walking up and down the stairs of my house. And of course, I didn't have to trick myself into uh, riding my bicycle anymore. I was so well trained, I could get that done despite the pain. But nonetheless, it did hurt all the time. So. Um, Doug did one other really important thing before he walked away from me, you know, at the trade show. He pulled out a piece of paper out of his, uh, his uh, briefcase and he slapped it down, you know, on the table and he looked over at me and he said, Larry, he said, I haven't got time to explain this to you right now. He said, but I want you to sign this application. And he, I said, well, what's that? And he said, well, it's a distributor application. And he said, you know something? Someday, I just know you're going to thank me for doing this. And I went, whoa, whoa, you know, like, what's this all about anyway? And he said, well, it's 50 bucks, 50 bucks, you know, to join this organization, to start, uh, you know, what could be an international business, 50 bucks. I mean, you know, what do you think of that? I said, really? It's just 50 bucks? Now, here's the deal. I didn't know anything about Juice Plus before I met him. I didn't know anything about, you know, the Juice Plus company, you know, it, it just was all totally brand new. But there was something about Doug. There was something about him that I trusted. And when he introduced me uh, to Dr. Mitra Ray, you know, I looked at both of those guys together and I said, you know, these guys are really up to something. They know what they're doing, you know, hmm. And so when he offered that to me and he told me it was only $50 and I could join the company and, and, you know, if I wanted to at some time, you know, I could even be a representative, but I'd certainly get a good price for the Juice Plus. I just went, wow, you know, that does make sense. So I did it. And I will actually say at this point that I have been thanking Doug you know, for the past 20 years, you know, 22 years, as a matter of fact, for having the courage to, to ask me that question, as awkward as it may have seemed at that moment, you know, he did. He took the chance on having me say no. And, you know, I could have easily said no, but it was trust in him as a person. I didn't know Juice Plus. I didn't know the company. So I just point that out because that's what this is all about. You met a person that you trusted and you moved, you know, on that feeling. You said yes to something. So for me, that was the first lesson that I had in learning literally how to trust, you know, my inner voice and begin to say yes to things rather than be totally alarmed and, you know, and constantly, you know, say no and or stand back and sit on a fence and, you know, wait for, you know, for something good to happen. And usually, it, you know, it falls right off the, you know, the uh, 
uh, you know, the top of your list and, and it's gone. So this was an opportunity that I actually seized. And, you know, it was four months of using Juice Plus with also Cameron reminding me each and every day, Dad, Dad, take your Juice Plus, take your Juice Plus. It was four months and one, you know, one morning I got out of bed and I, I stood right up and I went off, you know, to the bathroom to comb my hair and that would be funny and you would laugh if you knew what my head looked like. There isn't, there isn't a hair on it. But anyway, I, I uh, went off to brush my hair, if you will. And my wife, who uh, noticed me getting up, said, Larry, what is up with you? That's the first time I've seen you stand straight up, you know, without moaning and groaning and, you know, just kind of walking off. Uh, you know, that, you know, this is really different. She said, could this be that Juice Plus that you've been taking? And I, you know, I kind of looked at her and I said, you know, you're right. I feel great. And it didn't happen overnight, but I mean, that was the first moment that it really, you know, occurred to me that something really profound had changed. And she said, Larry, I think it is that Juice Plus. And she said, you know something, I'm going to get on it. We're going to get all the kids on it. And we had three, as, as was mentioned before. So this is going to cost some money. And you said that that guy, Doug, had signed you up to be a distributor and that you could make some money at this. So you better give him a call and figure out how to get that done. So literally, if you will, it you know, was five months you know, after I was introduced to it that it had become a compelling thing in my life, not just you know, with, my, uh, uh, you know, with my health and my tendons and, and the reduction of pain, but also the possibility then to start making you know, some money. Now, I also have to say that the bicycle touring company was a lot of fun. It was a great lifestyle, and it did, you know, provide a living, but it wasn't providing me with the security of a future. Um, you know, after, you know, I paid all of the bills and paid all of the employees, and at the end of the year, you know, I paid my taxes, and I would look back, and I really, really had to evaluate it just to say, you know, is this thing really going to do, you know, for our future? You know, because the kids were all growing, and Cameron, you know, you know, over the years became faster and faster. And ultimately, I have to say thanks to Juice Plus, um, Cameron uh, did make it to the Canadian National Ski Team. He was one of the fastest guys uh, in Canada, and even raced against uh, one of your boys down there by the name of Bodie Miller, and he didn't beat him at the magic moment at the Olympics or anything, but he did, be, he did beat <laughs> Bodie Miller in a couple of races, and he beat Herman Meyer too. So this was one fast kid. Now, it took a lot of money, you know, to, to pay for that ski campaign and to be with Cameron. It's, you know, he was traveling, you know, all over the world, the world championships and be there to support him. But the good news is also that when I started, you know, to understand what Juice Plus was and started working, you know, with Doug and Mitra, they had created a team. There was a beautiful team, and we just called it a mastermind in the beginning, and it was very similar, you know, to having calls like this, but we would meet once a week, and I would hear, you know, and Joy Kelly was on there, and, and uh, oh, I mean, all, all of the leaders that you now see, you know, in the Shining Star, you know, were on, were on that call, at least, you know, the original ones were on that call, and we shared our experiences. We shared, you know, tips and, and all of that, and I would bring all of that information to my new team that was beginning to grow, and, you know, it was because of that teamwork and, you know, that mastermind and my learning and, and my personal growth that within, five, well, actually, it was four and a half years I had reached the national marketing director position, the highest position uh, in the company. You know, it's being done a lot quicker these days. Um, but, you know, in those days, you know, that was a pretty good pace. Now, mind you, we only had fax machines and the Internet was brand new. So, and we had a lot to learn in the beginning. So, you know, I still am patting myself on the back for that. But, you know, we went on to create a business within, gosh, I, I would say, uh, 18 months, you know, of my really getting busy with the company that went into 14 countries, 14 countries. I had about 1,100 distributors. Not all of them were doing, I mean, very few of them were doing a lot, 
but it was an army, you know, of people that loved Juice Plus, and they were all contributing. Some of them doing a very little bit, some of them a little bit more, and then about 25 of them that were really getting busy, you know, with the, uh, uh, you know, with the, the business and were creating teams of their own. So it was, oh, I think, uh, let's see, they had created the 39 Club, and I think it was 14 months after I made uh, National Marketing Director that I made the 39 Club as well. Now, when I started, I was 47 years old. So, I mean, you can do the math. Um, you know, four and a half years later, you know, what was I? About, you know, 53 or 54 uh, uh, years old. And um, I looked at Barb and, you know, we were getting a good paycheck. It was coming in every month. And that's kind of when the sailboat, uh, you know, concept came into my mind because that was my dream you know, in the beginning. That was the, the pictures, you know, that I had on, on my uh, dream board. Uh, you know, it was having a sailboat and having enough time and enough money to take the family and, you know, get on that boat, cut the lines and, you know, go off on an adventure. And so that's what we did. You know, we didn't do it year round. I didn't go to the South Pacific, but, you know, we went up inside the inside passage and throughout the summer months, you know, we were really we're really gone. You know, we, we had, I was still checking in with my team, but I wasn't really building, you know, as, as I was out there. And then we'd come home and, and, uh, you know, we'd go skiing and I would still be sharing juice plus, but I have to tell you that I was kind of coasting, you know, for those 10 years, you know, I was kind of happy with it, but you know, then the company called me, uh, one day and they said, you know, something, we got something brand new. We want you to check this out. This is a remarkable thing. And Larry, we think you're going to love this. Can you come to a meeting? And uh, we want to show you the Tower Garden. You know, I heard about the Tower Garden, and that created something in, in my mind, a picture in my mind, you know, of like, oh, if you will, like a Tower Garden on, on every porch, you know, in North, North America, you know, kind of like Bill Gates must have felt about a computer on every desk, you know. And that just created this vision in my mind of something that was going to explode. So I became a student again, uh, you know, of the Tower Garden. I, I came back and, and I was part of the test market of that. Then I introduced it, you know, to our team that still existed. You know, they were wonderful folks. That 39 Club was still real solid. And we began uh, to create a network, uh, you know, with the Tower Garden that even stretched farther. And, you know, then um, you know, we had some new Juice Plus products, some new Juice Plus uh, programs, and the Tower Garden was brand new. And I began to understand that, you know, the Tower Garden created sort of another another avenue, another door for people to go in. So it wasn't just the Juice Plus, you know, now it was the Tower Garden. And I could just sort of check in with people and see, you know, what what really turned them on? What was their hot button? Is it the Tower Garden or is it Juice Plus? Looking better, feeling better, and going faster, you know? So it just added more um, uh, enthusiasm and, and, and another story, you know, to my repertoire of stories that I was sharing with the world. And I, I have to tell you, you know, it took about, you know, it took that year of, um, test marketing the Tower Garden, and then another year of introducing this, you know, to the network and creating a new network, and that's when the explosion started to happen in my business, because after we started to take the Tower Garden out there, we had the Transform 30, which showed up, um, you know, about a year and a half after the Tower Garden came on the market, and we literally had the, these these opportunities for folks. It was like, okay, over here, looking good, feeling good, and going faster. And and I totally got enraptured with the, uh, uh, you know, with the Transform 30. I lost, you know, uh, almost 50 pounds, you know, on the Transform 30. I was looking good. Uh, you know, I was feeling good. Even though I'm almost 70 years old, I am feeling better than I was when I first heard about Juice Plus. So, you know, things were going really good. And uh, so I went from where I'd been for a long, long time, 10 years as a 39 club. All of a sudden, I went to 50 club. And that happened from one conference to, to the next conference, from 39 to 50. You know, people saw me, you know, get, get, um, 
uh, acknowledged, you know, for a 50 club, we were really excited. And that's when I created an, another team. And that's, you know, if you will, as you look at that, and I'll just kind of point at it, this is my 50 club um, little, uh, if you will, statue that the, the company gave me. Uh, and can you see that's a Canada goose? So I thought it was really great because, you know, I used to watch the geese all the time when I was on the sailboat because these guys, you know, they'd fly north and then they'd fly south and, you know, they'd fly in these beautiful wedges and they'd honk at each other. And I mean, it, it just created this concept in my mind of teamwork. You know, these guys are doing a monumental thing. They're flying from, you know, from, you know, way down, uh, you know, in the southern part of North America, all the way to the northern part. You know, they're doing it using teamwork. And, and I discovered, I sort of studied up on them. And it was just like us. It was just like us. We're helping each other. You know, it just totally fit in to that model of one team, you know, with one mission. You know, these geese. And, and so... I mentioned that to the company and I created our team, uh, you know, as being, if you will, the Canada geese, you know, and my team got totally behind it. So we had these little hawkers, you know, we'd go out and we'd go to conferences and we'd hawk and, and just have a lot of fun. And, and so we went from 50 club at, at that conference, you know, we were out there hawking real loud, I guess, because we went from 50 to 75, you know, at the next, next conference, that's 25 clubs, you know, in between, you know, that conference. And then the following conference, so sequentially, you know, from one conference to the next conference to the next, I made 100 club. And the team was just absolutely enthralled. And they're going out and creating their 12s and 24s and, and 39s now. I got one team now that's just has gone past 75, and they're going for their 100 club. And that's back in you know, in the eastern part of Canada and Toronto, you know, with uh, Nicole Scott, you may have heard of her. So all I can say is that this has just been a remarkable uh, and an explosive experience in my life where, quite frankly, for, as I can say this again now, and I can yell this from the treetops all the way down to Seattle, Washington, you know, thank you, Doug, you know, for sharing this concept, you know, of whole food nutrition with me and helping me to, you know, to become stronger uh, uh, at 70 years old <laughs> than I was at, at uh, 47 when I first met him and creating this, this legacy that will be passed on, you know, to, you know, to the young people in my family and, and uh, younger folks all the way out there in 14 countries around the world. Because honest and truly, you know, that is the opportunity that we have here today folks. I mean, it is worldwide. It is world class in both the nutrition and the concept of, you know, the security, you know, of our food supply. So if you will, um, uh, that's, that's my story. And, and that is the story all the way uh, to 100 Club. Um, and uh, if, if you would uh, also like me to, to share some tips you know, that I've learned along the way that, that could, that has made it go even faster for the new folks. I'd be happy to do that. Would you like me to, to share some of those things? That would be awesome. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody is giving us thumbs yeah. up. That'd be great. Hey, uh, can, cool. I, can we ask questions? Oh, absolutely. Please. I, I, I uh, really, really want to hear your questions. Awesome. Okay. So, uh, you mentioned that Nicole Scott is one of your directs. I know that you also have a lot of athletes and a lot of the NMDs that have, you know, skyrocketed in four months, not naming names, Dave Sanders, but, um, so what, how have you found these people? I've been, has it just been like living life? Have, do you do booths? Do you like, is this Facebook? Like how do you intentionally find these types of people to join your team? Okay. Uh, and that is a great question. And, you know, the way I would answer that would be to say that, you know, all of the things that you just mentioned in general, I mean, I have tried all of them. But, you know, when I started out, uh, you know, I, I'm a, I am a person that loves to meet people. I do love people. You know, I love to find out what I like about people. <laughs> so I'm curious. So I talk to people all the time. Now, I was riding a bicycle in the beginning, 
and uh, Mitra had just started out, you know, by creating these audio tapes. And, you know, this is an ancient technology now, but they were those eight track tapes, you know, that, uh, or pardon me, they were cassette tapes. And uh, I was just handing those out like crazy, you know, so talking to people, uh, you know, trying to uh, figure out what their hot button was, you know, seeing where their interests were. And then I would just, rather than explaining Juice Plus, I would just pass off a tape. And, you know, quite honestly, today we can do it so much easier, uh, you know, using YouTube and, you know, all of the things that we have. But if you will, the universal concept that I would say is that I would find out their interest and then I would pass them off to the experts. Okay. Now, the experts could also be on a conference call, you know, a three-way call with Doug Barlow or Mitra Roy, Array or any of the other experts, you know, that, uh, that Juice Plus has sort of bought, brought to the forefront for us. Um, so I, do, I did that too, you know, three-way calling. And then utilizing, you know, all of, uh, uh, you know, the, the meetings, you know, the prevention plus, you know, the, the business overviews, you know, I mean, I really did that. And by, by going to all of those, and I, I rarely missed one, I rarely missed one, you know, in my active phases, you know, of the business. And, uh, and I'll, I will say that when I went away and I was on the sailboat, I wasn't, I wasn't doing that as vigorously, but I would show up to all of the ones out on Vancouver Island or whatever. I always stayed tuned to the business. But as I went to all of those meetings, you know, I was also discovering how, uh, you know, to plan and execute those meetings for myself and for my team. Because it was really a matter of duplicating all of the skills that I was learning into the team so that they knew how to talk to people. You know, they felt the security uh, you know, to go out there and, and, uh, and engage, you know, with people in, in casual conversation. Um, but also, um, the, the really important thing uh, that I learned was in the team building to have what I would call passion calls and develop uh, conference stories, you know what I mean? Not, not just business success stories, but something where I could honestly go out there and tell people about the Super Bowl of Juice Plus, getting to conference, you know, that, and in fact, I know that this is true. It doesn't make any difference, you know, where you are, you know, in, in the, uh, in the, the uh, discovery process of Juice Plus and or the virtual franchise. It doesn't make any difference, you know, whether, you know, you're a brand new, uh, uh, dealer or, or direct distributor, you know, usually it's the new folks, you know, that we're introducing, you know, the conferences to, but I have had people that even up to sales coordinator that haven't been to their first conference yet. So it is literally being totally passionate. And I am passionate about going to conference like the one that's coming up, you know, on the 20th of October, quite honestly, I can tell you this, for sure, and I bet you most of you all already know this and already agree, but it's going to be better than any conference that we've ever been to. It's going to be more explosive in my mind when I come home, you know, to offer, you know, the, the, with the offering of Juice Plus and the virtual franchise than any experience, you know, that I've had. So that may have been a long-winded way of, of uh, you know, telling you, you know, what I've done you know, in my business to, to find the people that I've found. Um, but whether they be athletes or business people, uh, it, you know, it really doesn't make any difference whatsoever. You know, whether they're health professionals, uh, you know, or, you know, as, as compared to just, uh, you know, um, regular people on, you know, on the road, it is universal, uh, you know, that we, that we do that. Share, uh, you know, your personal story, Take them to the experts, you know, in any level of uh, event that you can find, whether, you know, it be, uh, you know, a Zoom call, uh, a three-way call, a Prevention Plus seminar, a business overview, a regional or conference. Share all of those things passionately, consistently, and do not, do not hold back. You know, that's the one of the biggest mistakes that I've made, uh, you know, in the past with qualifying people as to, oh, they wouldn't be interested in this, you know, and, and, or, you know, not offering it to my chicken list. 
my chicken list is the first thing that I look for, uh, you know, when, when an event is coming up. I go through the chicken list just to see, you know, could this be the event that that person will finally come to? And I let them know. So, you know, people that I've had, you know, on my list for 10 years, they still get the information from me, even though they've been saying no for 10 years. You know, I'm just waiting for the breakthrough. I mean, if they're still listening, I'm still offering. And that's the reality. And, you know, every now and again, I do have those breakthroughs and people, you know, show up to events that I've never, you know, that I haven't seen for years and years. So I hope that answers the question. You guys still there? Yep, we're still here. Anybody else have any questions for Larry or do you want to hear his tips? Good tips. All right. Okay, so um, here's tip number one. This is the most important thing to remember. Uh, and, and this happens, you know, throughout the experience. I have national marketing directors that will make this mistake. Um, recruit front line, okay? Don't stop bringing people in front line. Go wide and don't build other people's businesses. That, if you will, is the best way to keep the business, you know, right, you know, up close to you so that it does not filter and go away down through the fifth level. Because quite honestly, um, I've seen this happen so many times to people that thought they were doing uh, themselves a favor by helping uh, a sales coordinator, you know, build their business and get to the executive level and sign somebody up underneath them. Or allowing them to sign somebody up underneath one of their distributors. Make sure that you keep the business as close to you as possible. Because you know something? When you have... Somebody like Melissa Hyde or something like that at your sixth level, you're going to wish you didn't. <laughs> you're going to wish that, that she was at your, your third level, right? Because the things that they're going to create underneath them, you know, are, are literally out of touch for you. So you want to have a business as wide as possible. And here's the other reason. Remember I told you that I went away for 10 years if I had only built and been satisfied with five wide I would have fallen out of qualification not just you know for the bonuses but qualification even as a national marketing director now I'm gonna say that I have I have never seen them take the position away from somebody if they lost you know one of their five um, sales coordinators I haven't seen that happen but you know something, I would definitely never, ever want to be in the position where I felt like I wasn't qualified to be an NMD. So here's the, here's the tip now. I've given you every, build your business so that you have a frontline sales coordinator driven and all of them customer qualified 12 club. That's it. Don't be satisfied with eight. Build a frontline 12 club with sales coordinators. You haven't completed your job. You cannot, you know, just, you know, walk away, even though you could, if you just had six, you know, that would be the light at the end of the tunnel, you know, where the company says, okay, you know, you, you could retire. They would allow you to. You wouldn't have to worry about your personal volume anymore, but don't do it. Have your business so totally secure and duplicated that it will grow and not go away, you know, when, when you decide that you're not going to work as hard. That's the main tip, you know, that I have for folks. Keep building frontline. Go frontline 12 club. I'm going to say it one more time just so that it is cemented in your brain. <laughs> you know, with the, the tools that we have today, you can keep, you know, you know, very, you know, very effectively in the recruiting process using social media. So don't, you know, don't get too secure in that. Keep going. 
keep bringing new people, you know, to all of the events. Anything else? I have another question. Um, when you have, I mean, when your team is as wide and as big um, as you have it, your organization is, how, how far down do you typically work? Um, as far as like, do you, you know, do you reach down to your, your third and fourth and fifth levels of people to, to help do coaching and stuff? Or do you just build up your directs to where they're confident in their teaching? Okay. Uh, and that is a great question. Okay. Now I, I would say focus, get people to sales coordinator. Okay. Just get people to sales coordinator. Uh, work, you know, put most of your uh, your effort there. I mean, because that's where the effort is, right? And at that point, you could say, you know, something. They've they've been, you know, you've baked them in the oven. You know, you've given them everything that they need to be, and uh, you know, they can go on for you know from there. So that, if you will, is where your your uh, effort, if you will, in teaching is going to go. But it doesn't stop there because all the way to national marketing director, you know, people are going to be learning and discovering more things about themselves. Uh, so I'm in touch with everybody. I mean, I'm in touch with sideline. I don't, I mean, Canada, uh, is, is my family, if you will. You know, I mean, I go to events and if I see somebody there that, you know, that, uh, could use a little mentorship, I just, you know, put out my hand and, and offer it to them. I mean, I would do that to my sixth, to my seventh level. I, I think Mitra Ray, uh, you know, just continues working, and so does Doug, you know, with people, anybody that's in the Shining Star. So, but, but the concentration, if you will, you know, should be for the people that enrolled with you and get them the sales coordinator, where then they will begin to discover themselves. And, and you, you know, at that point, just, just as Christy is working with, you know, many of you on the call right now, um, you are discovering what it takes to be a leader, you know. And, and when you have a big team, uh, you know, challenges arise that you could have never imagined, you know, back when you were a sales coordinator. You know, people will have and have challenges. I mean, you, in some respects, you, you know, you're becoming a psychoanalyst. You know? <laughs> so don't, don't get locked into that position. Allow people to discover themselves. You know, you're there to provide a secure, safe place for them to check in right? They can always come to you. But if, you know, at that point, I'm not solving people's problems. I'm allowing people to discover their solutions. Okay. I'm, I am, you know, I am a good listener. I'm a soft pillow, you know, if they need that. But at the same time, you know, I'm not solving their problems. They are solving their problems. You know, the, the problems that people have in leadership, uh, you know, are, are usually exactly the GPS of the next thing that they need to learn for their next job, right? They need to learn that. They need to be mentors for people that are going to have the same problems. So, the, you know, we can't tell people. We just sort of direct people. And, and that's it. You know, I, I had a conversation with somebody today who was trying to figure out the reason why, you know, and this is, this is somebody that quite honestly is already in an, at an executive level and they're questioning their reason why. And quite honestly, the, the thing that I said to them was, you know, like you're, you're thinking about this too much. You know, it was so simple. I said, so you're, you know, you're, you're deciding that your problem is right over there and you're digging a hole and you're throwing the dirt on top of the solution, <laughs> you know, <laughs> because life doesn't happen where you're looking. Life and all your solutions are going to be over in the periphery. You know, the direction that you're going is just part of the adventure of your discovery. 
but you know that destination that you're looking at is likely not where it is. So having said that in, in sort of a metaphorical way, I'm just saying that we are just here to help people discover themselves. That's it. And our discovery of ourselves is simply the model that they can use in their discovery process. Does that help? Yes, absolutely. Okay, good. Um, you know, I just remembered something else that you asked earlier because you were you had a more specific uh, kind of question about how do you um, how do you find athletes and or mentor athletes? Was that something that you were specifically interested in? Yeah, well, I was just asking like where you find where because you know I mean I can talk to um, stay at home moms all day long, but I don't necessarily attract the the go-getters of the industry like you seem to have done with like I mean maybe it is you're you're looking at athletes you're looking at a specific personality type but um, I was just kind of curious where you found mo you're most successful in bringing in people to your business okay well the answer to that is what do you like to do or or what would you like to do um, in terms of uh, new realms you know, for you to work yourself into uh, to find new people. You know, I mean, lots of folks in the beginning, you know, people that weren't really athletic, but they wanted to find athletes and or personal trainers started joining gyms or, you know, they started playing, you know, they would join, go to meetup groups and they'd play volleyball or they'd go hiking or, you know, they'd come with me on cycling trips or, you know, uh, just whatever it is that you would, you know, because, I think personally, and I met people, you know, out there doing the things that I love. You know, I had been, I was very, very involved in ice skating as a younger person. Actually, it, it isn't, it, you know, this surprises a lot of people, but I, I was an ice dancer at one time, you know, so I love figure skating, you know, so I began, I just got my skates out and I went back out and started to skate again. So, I mean, did you have a sport? you know, that you were uh, real keen about when, you know, when you were in high school or in college, uh, I would suggest, you know, pick up, you know, that sport again, get involved, you know, go out and meet people because those are the adventures that takes you to, to the people that are motivated to do the same thing. And it's, that, that literally is where I find the most positive minded people, people that are up to something are also have alternate activities. So the activities that I like to do, these are just my personal favorites. I love to ski, you know, and that's cross country skiing or alpine skiing. I love to hike. I love to ride my bike. You know, I go sailing, um, kayaking, um, you know, and, and the other thing that I love to do is I love to share the tower garden. Now I wasn't a gardener before, but you know, all of a sudden I'm seeing all these beautiful plants. So now, I mean, we're interested in organic gardening. You know, so we're going, I go to gardens, you know, <laughs> I'll be out on a bicycle trip, you know, and, and one of the places that I'll go to is like, uh, you know, to a place called Hollyhock, you know, up on uh, an island up in the Gulf Islands. And it is a beautiful organic garden where, you know, where people, where I can meet new people. So just finding new realms of interest, you know, that, that you can um, go and participate in uh, in activities and meet people that are like-minded to you because quite honestly those are the people that you're going to resonate with and you're going to be able to most easily tell your personal story sharing your stories your specific stories and those would be like your stories about the product you know your story your your product success story you know the and then finding out and discovering, you know, who, who they are. Maybe they're, they are interested in making more money and sharing your business stories and then sharing, you know, the concept of Transform 30 and then taking them there to that specialty page, you know, where all of the athletes are. You know, if you're finding, you know, people that are interested in athletics and they want to be more athletes, just getting into those conversations, you know, with people and you have all of the tools you know, quite honestly, you have all of the specialty arrows in your quiver, you know, by being in, you know, Team Shining Star and Transform 30 and or the specific teams, you know, that you guys are creating, you know, that you can 
bring in all of these people that have all these specialty interests, motivated, exciting people just like yourselves, you know, that are, could, that are curious and will want to find out more of what you're up to. Show them what you're up to. Show them what other people are up to in the groups that you're participating in. That's, that's how you get people involved, bringing them powerfully into these, these conversations. And I mean all of those conversations, product, business, tower garden, everything, you know, all of the fun that you're having with the business. We have fun in this business. And that's what people want to do. They want to have fun. They want to have freedom, financial freedom, and independence, you know, from their JOBs. These are the, those are the buzzwords. Those are the hot buttons that will attract those people. Go out and share them. Courageously sometimes, you know. <laughs> you know, you got to be courageous. You got to go out to the end of the limb because that's where the fruit is growing, right? <laughs> you know, these are just things that I've learned and heard, you know, over the years. I'm just reciting to you guys the things that have been shared, you know, with me over the past 22 years. And a lot of them are just one-liners, but I've committed them, you know, to my mind. And I say them to myself almost like a mantra to get my steam up, you know, get charged up so that I go out the door, you know, with a purpose. And, you know, with a, with a good, solid story, you know, and enthusiasm. Because that's what brings people to us. That's the magnet. Okay. <laughs> that's, you've heard my steam. <laughs> Larry, can you, can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? I sure can. I can. Uh, all right, it's Patton, Christy's husband. How are you? Oh, I'm really well, Patton. How are you doing? Good. It's good to hear your voice. Hey, so it's good is, to be here with you guys. Right on. Well, thank you for doing it. Um, I've got a, a quick question, and it's a, it's a little bit of a weighty question. I know it's probably not um, one that's simple to answer, but in terms of demographics of the people that you found to be go-getters in the business, like who is there a certain like demographic that you found that, that is more successful than others in terms of, or is it just kind of, luck of the draw and, and just talk to as many people as possible and eventually one or two pop up here and there. Well, um, Patton, you know, I think that uh, the, you know, the universal answer to that is, is the latter, you know, as you just said, just it's, it's a matter of numbers, you know, doing the numbers and the safety of numbers and the law of averages, if you will, because you never know. And remember, you know, one of the basic principles that we have is do not, pre-qualify people you don't have the, you don't even have the right to do it you don't know you know what what other people's challenges are right i mean people put on a, a you know a very uh, brave face but you know in the back you know, they have needs and demands quite honestly we have the solution the simple solution to so many of their problems so i say don't qualify okay now that i've said that i am going to say something else the for me, I have, and this is just each individual's uh, experiences, right? But for me, I have found that people that have been in the workforce, you know, they've already experienced having a job. They've experienced, you know, some of the setbacks of, of being in industries that are being downsized. You know, they've, they've experienced, uh, you know, the, the competition, the uh, you know, of people all, you know, kind of like digging and scratching to the top. And they've, in some many cases, been left behind. You know, people that have been disappointed and or people that have desires, you know, they haven't given up on their dreams, but they're given, they're beginning to give up on their dreams. Those are the folks that get lit up when they hear our enthusiasm. Okay, so people that have been in the workforce, they've struggled in the workforce, and especially those, you know, that have kind of been disenfranchised, you know, by the workforce and are struggling to get themselves going, you know, back in, you know, back into something. You know, they're looking for something meaningful to do that they can create a future for themselves and their family. So whatever that demographic is, 
You know, I mean, a lot of people have started out early in life and some people, you know, spent a lot of time in education and didn't get going in the workforce until, you know, they were pretty close to middle age. So there is no specific age, but there is sort of an experiential uh, uh, demographic, I would say. And, and those are the folks that I find it to be, you know, the ones that sort of show up in the crowd. You know, I might be, and as I frequently say, you know, it's they're happening in the periphery. I might be talking to somebody else, you know, when all of a sudden they hear one of their, one of the buzzwords that's their hot button. And all of a sudden they just pipe up, they show up from nowhere. And that's happened, you know, when I've given presentations uh, in, in restaurants or coffee shops, you know, and that is, that's the excitement of this. That's the adventure, you know, of absolutely going out there and realizing that you cannot pre-qualify people. You just have to come out, you know, with the message. You got to deliver. And and then, in fact, you know, the 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 law of you know the safety of numbers and the law of averages, you know, begins to work for you. Yeah. Hey. Hi there. Hey, Larry. It's Cassie. I have a quick question. Sure. If you were that, I'm sorry, I didn't want to interrupt you. You good, Patton? Okay. I'm no, good. That was great. I I'm great. Okay. 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 Um, all right. So I, I feel like I'm running into lately people kind of having a, a negative mindset towards network marketing as a whole. Um, I, even though I do feel like our business model kind of sets us apart and then obviously our product and our environment and culture. Is there anything, have you ever run into that one? And then if you are running into that, how are you, um, or what has been your best resource, I guess, as far as kind of selling the business as a whole too? Okay, okay, um, th thank you. And that's a great question. And it's a question that we all have and anybody that's successful in network marketing has certainly, most certainly on, uh, more times than I can count, uh, you know, come up with against that negativity. Now, I, I'm I, I'm just going to qualify uh, that that's that statement uh, by saying that that that's rampant out there. I mean, there are some people, you know, that that just, you know, they they don't have the understanding of of how this business grows. That it grows through actual duplication. You know, they don't. They don't understand the concept of duplication, they, and, and they don't believe that they could duplicate. Most people think that network marketing is signing up and buying a bunch of products, and that miraculously somehow, you know, the, the, the business, you know, is supposed to create itself, you know, that it's just going to be automatic. And, you know, often, you know, that's the result of, of network marketers um, going out there and just using a, a strategy called, um, you know, taking like a spitball and throwing it against the wall just to see if it sticks, right? Um, because that's, that's how network marketing used to be. You know, people were making commissions. They weren't building, you know, stable and lasting um, uh, companies. But we follow what's called, uh, you know, the network marketing model. And if you will, even, and, you know, I didn't like to hear people say this in the beginning, is this MLM, multi-level marketing, you know, because I perceived a negative just by virtue of them saying MLM. But I say this is absolutely multi-level marketing. And at its very best, even better than network marketing. We have something called the virtual franchise. Have you ever heard of that? <laughs> You know, I just turn it into a positive because then they'll go, oh, no, I haven't heard of virtual franchise. What's that? And then I can go on to explain to them that, you know, our company uh, is a company that's actually taken all of the negatives, you know, out of multi-level marketing. And we've created a win-win situation. We generate real wealth. You know, we, we aren't just a flash in the pan. We've got a track record that goes back, gosh, what is it, like 46 years now, 46 years. Our company has been writing, you know, uh, uh, checks to people. We've got people in the, in the business, I mean, as for, like, 
myself, you know, 22 years, you know, this company has consistently, you know, given me, you know, everything that I needed, you know, to, to build this company. We have mentorship. We have a company that develops products, you know, that, that uh, new products, new innovative products. Uh, you know, they do the research on those products. They've created all of the distribution of those products. They, they actually ship the products for us and they write paychecks for us and they do that on a monthly basis. And all we have to do is go out and, and deliver the message, tell our stories. We get to do the bankable activities. Our company does all of the administration. And there's literally tens of thousands of people that are making meaningful incomes in North America, you know, by using this virtual franchise model. Now, that, you know, you've just heard me, you know, shoot from the hip as to, you know, what I'd say to somebody. But there were break periods there, you know what I mean? Because each time, you know, that I'm speaking to somebody, I'm waiting to see if there's, if there's a spark yet, you know. And any time along that path, I, would re I could realize that I'm swimming upstream with this person. And it would be time to just kind of say, you know something, I can see that, you know, this, is, this isn't the right time for you. You know, so, hey, just remember that I was the person that told you about, you know, this virtual franchise first. And if, if it becomes something, you know, you hear about it and you become more interested in it, don't forget, come back to me and, and ask, you know, turn it into a negative. People are frequently just testing your resolve. They're testing your mettle, if you will. They're going to throw, you know, throw up a, a I won't say a punch at you. They're going to challenge, uh, you know, your commitment and your belief. And quite honestly, the other thing, and Jeff Roberti used to say this all the time, you know, just don't buy people's stories. You know, yeah. if they don't believe in network marketing, they just don't believe in network marketing. You can't convince them. We're not here to convince. We're here to offer. Okay. Yeah, I like that. And, and this goes kind of back to that concept of if you're doing the numbers, you know, if you've got the safety of numbers and the law of averages happening, you're going to have people standing behind you, right, standing right behind you, just like Mitra Ray had 10 people behind her, you know, when she was telling me about the business. You know, I couldn't say this business doesn't work. She had 10, 10 disciples standing behind her. It was almost kind of scary. <laughs> you know, I couldn't, yeah. I, there was, she was bulletproof, you know what I mean? I couldn't yeah. knock, her, I couldn't knock her out of the saddle. So that's how you got to be. You got to be bulletproof. No one can knock you out of the saddle. And if they're trying to knock you out of the saddle, you just have to kind of, you know, get out of that, that, uh, uh, get out from under that black cloud, get out of their sphere of influence and go, you know, talk to somebody that's more positive. Don't yeah. let them steal steal your enthusiasm ever never okay all right i like that one last question kind of with that you said that you know you share your personal story and then you take them to the experts is there something off the top of your head as far as specifically for the business a video that um we have access to that um really focuses on the business side oh yeah Oh, absolutely. Um, I mean, for, for me, uh, you know, the, uh, um, and this, this kind of goes way back to, to the 39 club, but you know, the numbers, uh, have you ever seen uh, Jennifer Myers do the numbers? No, I have not. Okay. Well, there's a business video. I mean, it was in, in there. They, she had one called the virtual franchise. She and Sean did something and she just, she would go through the numbers on a, uh, um, you know, on a, uh, a whiteboard okay. and uh, oh I mean it, it was just brilliant but you know Mitra you know does some great trainings but if you go into the uh, the mission driven system you know on the website uh -huh. and there's all those videos are right there um, you know in the in the funnel if have you looked at that, uh, yes. at that, that yeah. part of the website Okay, yes. well, all, all those videos are there. Just go to the, you know, to the business, um, you know, in that funnel thing, you can click on any one of those levels in the funnel. And there's one in there that talks about, you know, promoting the virtual franchise. And there'll be uh, YouTube videos in there that'll, that'll promote the business for you. 
Okay. But yeah, that's what I, I what I recommend is is just go in there and look at all of the resources that are available. You'll find the one that fits that fits that person. There's no one that fits all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's a conversation, you know, that, that will fit the conversation that you've had, you know, with a specific person. So it's best to know everything that's out there, but that's the best avenue for it. But in, in uh, uh, Transform 30, you know, there's reference to the business. Right. On, on, on Team Shining Star, um, you know, the, the website and also uh, on the, the Facebook page, you know, there's, there's reference to, uh, uh, to the business and, and uh, uh, something that you can share with people that will be compelling. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome. So can I just ask you where you are in the business? Yeah, I'm a senior sales coordinator pushing for oh, cool. two, pushing for oh, good, by good. December. Yeah, so... Yeah. Um, so so is it building a team that, that you're trying to do or, I mean, are you building structure or do you still need to build volume in the structure? Um, I have three sales coordinators underneath me. So right now, structurally, I'm there with a few tweaks. I need a couple, one of my sales coordinators to have um, three more distributors with 90 PV. Um, it's, okay. it's, it is volume that I'm working, that I'm lacking right now. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and also you want structure for your people. You want what, what what you really want right now is you want to create a depth in your business. You want duplication to show up so, so that nobody goes to sleep on you. Right, exactly. And I think that's that's what I struggle with as far as um, helping them duplicate more distributors. I feel like we're great at getting customers. Um, it's across the board, I feel like I struggle with it. And then, you know, it's hard for me to teach my team um, that, you know, it's something that I struggle with as well. So I'm always trying to learn more and get a better understanding of just, I, you know, cause I don't know the business, I'm like, it's $50. Like it just makes so much sense to me. And so I don't, I struggle to understand why I have customers that'll pay so much money for their stuff and order, you know, five orders of trio, but they don't want to sign up for the business either. Uh -huh. you know, it, just, it blows my mind on some of the, the stuff that why people are so intimidated by it. So I don't know if I'm making it too difficult. I don't know if I'm not coming across like I'm duplicatable. I don't know. Okay. Well, you know, I mean, it, it really depends. I mean, if you think somebody is worth it um, and, you know, and you just can't seem to kind of get the point across to them. Mm -hmm. I used to say, look, this is, this is a lot like, uh, you know, becoming uh, a rep, uh, you know, could be just a way where you would pay for your personal product. It's a lot like joining Costco. Right. You know, I mean, if you wanted to introduce them softly, you know, to the business, you know, you didn't mm -hmm. want, you know, and you can't quite, you know, get them gunned up about, you know, becoming an active distributor, then, you know, it's just the soft approach. Of, right. And I, I like that, uh, uh, you know, to describe that, it like, you know, just joining, yeah. joining costume and helping, you know, to uh, pay for your personal products. Right. Yeah. And I, you know, and I, I said that and then um, a lot of people, I always get all the time, I don't want to, I don't want to be that person that sells stuff and they'll say that to me and, you know, and I kind of ask them, well, do you feel like I've sold you something? You know, do you feel like I was a salesy person? And they always uh -huh. say no. Um, but I, you know, then they just, they just can't get, wrap their heads around not being a salesperson. Okay. Okay. And, you know, and, in talking with you, <clears throat> I, I bet that at that point, you're just real easy on them. And you just go, you say, oh, that's okay. <laughs> really, right now, you're just using the products, and you're getting benefit from the products, which means that I'm, and I'm, you know, I'm helping you, uh, you know, to, to discover, you know, some of those benefits. And that's all you really have to do. I mean, at that point, if you're easy with it, right? Yeah. If if you're just at ease and not struggling, you know, to to try to get the point across to them, they're going to see that this is easy. Right. If, right. if you start working hard, they're going to get the message that oh, this is hard. I don't yeah. want to do that. 
Yeah. Okay. So at some point in the future, they begin to sort of love the product. Maybe something happens to them where they go, oh, my gosh, imagine what this would do for my brother. Mm -hmm. That's the magic moment when all of a sudden they come back and they say, gosh, could I share this with, you know, because all of a sudden, you know, the, the concepts that you shared with them, whereby it would start to, you know, pay for their products, you know, I mean, you're happy to take them as your customer, but, you know, they could be their customer, which would help them to pay for their products, you know, then it could just ring true. All of a sudden, oh, I get it. But, they, you know, people have to discover this. It has to be their own good idea. It's not our good idea that convinces them. It's their own good idea. So yeah. let that happen and be real easy and have that beautiful smile and gracefulness that you, that you possess. And it'll happen. Don't worry. It's just a matter of time. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Can, can I hop in here real quick? Sure. Um, yeah, for somebody that's just starting out with Juice Plus, I think I started maybe a little more than a month ago. Um, you know, I'm always looking to kind of shorten the, like I'm jumping, Kristen, can you back me up on this one? What am I trying to go for this month? We're trying to fast track you to VF this month. Right, so for somebody that's trying to fast track to VF, I have, I've identified two individuals that I'd like to be distributors under me and I'm in the process of my, my goal this week is to get them signed up and like actually starting to sell juice plus and get them trained up. Right. And so are there, can you give any tips or tricks for positioning myself as a, hmm, I, I know that you're a very successful engineer individual and I'm a striving successful individual with I have other businesses besides juice plus but how would I position myself for instance Kristen and I we did a table at a gym you know and gyms are great because there are a lot of fitness people and you know it's a great market and you know as long as you um, do the exposure you know three four or five times people come back and actually see it's like oh oh you were here like three weeks ago oh, this is actually not just a thing. It's not a one-time thing, right? And so right. are there other marketable opportunities? Like we, we've, I've come up with one, like a 5K or a 10K run, right? Where there, you get tons of runners, tons of foot traffic, and we just set up a table and just see what happens. I mean, ha have you done stuff like that? Or, or do you have experience with, you know, high volume sales? Like if we were to go out for like four hours, right? Where would you go? Okay. Um, well, I, I'm, I've always been like on, you know, frequently I just go shopping. <laughs> you know, I just meet people shopping. I, I usually go in to places that are, are familiar with, you know, to me uh, in terms of things that I'm, I'm interested in, but I, you know, rather than, than start there, I'd, I'd like to go back to what, what you were talking about uh, quite you know, earlier on where you had, I think you said two people um, that you would like to have join you in the business and become representatives. Yes, sir. Can we, okay, let's go there because that is the most, the more actionable thing right now for you. Yes, sir. And, and the way I would do that would be quite literally, um, do they know anything about Juice Plus yet? Yes, both of them have tried it and they're already, they've already got their network that they're trying to sell this stuff to. I just, it, it, it's cause I, I have a band, you know, I'm, I'm the lead singer in this band and these guys are, one of them's the manager of the band, the other's the drummer. And these okay. guys are all into fitness and you know, they have, um, excuse me, sorry, the networks. And it's just a matter of just signing them up and they're going to start selling right away. Um, I'm just trying to fast track them to get them product and to get them materials so they can start learning and school them up, you know, cause it took me a little while to really get into this. And, sure, sure. you know, I'm not an expert and I always turn to Kristen cause she's the one that brought me in. And like, if it's not her, then Amy or somebody else, but okay. Is there a way to fast track that? Absolutely. I would, I would suggest doing a three way call uh, with, with an upline, somebody that's successful in the business. 
with those with those folks. I mean, if they're familiar with Juice Plus, they're using Juice Plus, and they're feeling the benefits of it, then I, I would just do a passion call, you know, that would uh, help them become enthusiastic and see the not just the possibility, but the merit and the benefit of, of being a representative and having other people, you know, having customers. That's, I mean, that's what you're trying to orient them uh, uh, toward. Um, so, be, you know, and the volume, of course, will be good for you. The structure, uh, you know, will be good for you at your next, you know, your next juncture, you know, going up to, uh, uh, to sales coordinator. So, yeah, but volume right now, yeah, you want people to be uh, signed up. Um, and, you know, they could just be dealers. They don't have to fast track, but I would present them, you know, with the fast tracks so that they could be excited about something. And, and, and uh, you, you would be creating um, a, a, a mission for them, you know, a goal for them. And by doing so, you would be accomplishing your own goal and creating a business success story, which is the, the greatest asset that you have in this business, okay? So you've been using Juice Plus for about a month. You're beginning to probably feel some, some more vitality. Some of those late nights when you guys are out there playing, you know, you're, you know at the end of the night, you know, you're not just bagged, right? Um, so yes. I'm just making up a, 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 no, a you're, possible. You're, you're spot on. No, it's totally true. You know, when I take a Juice Plus dose, I take it an hour before a show. I'm not completely uh -huh. drained after my two hour, three hour engagement, whatever it is. Exactly. Exactly. So now you're, you're sharing that, you know, with these other guys that are in your band, they're getting enthusiastic about it. You know, they're thinking of other people that could use it. Now you present them, you know, with uh, an exciting program, something where, you know, like, like you're gunning for, uh, let's see, it sounds like you're going for the, for the fast track. Uh, so it, it when did you sign up as a representative? Are you going for the 30 day? Kristen. <laughs> or the, the yes, 60 you should, days? You should, you should know this. We're actually trying to fast track him in less than 60 days. We're trying to okay. get him to yes this, this month. So it'll be like 45 days. Okay, just, cool. Yeah. So, I mean, these okay. guys, yeah, you know, I did a three-way call with, with Barry, one of my, one of my, uh, He's gonna, and he's already promised me he's signing up on this day at at the end of this month, which is great, you know. And then, I, and then my friend Sterling, he's like, "Well, I'm gonna beat Barry to him, you know, to that date." And I was like, "Awesome, great!" So I'm just trying to set it up and you know sit down and actually sure. sign him up. And sure. so, okay, you can do this with your own personal story. I'm just gonna, I'm I'm gonna kind of stay on track here, just with with I'm gonna generate some excitement here because that's what this is about, generating excitement. So. In your 60-day, in, in Canada, which is where I am, I'm up in, in a place called Banff, Alberta, up in the Rocky Mountains. But in, in Canada, and I, I, in the States, I have business down there. I got people that are growing down there. You get 300 bucks, 300 bonus bucks, you know, if you can do this, <laughs> right? And, and so does the sponsor. So, so let's, com, com, uh, let's compound that. So now if you did that and you had two others that do that, you get 300 bucks for them doing it. <laughs> get that? So, I mean, if you had two guys go, uh, you know, to, to, uh, uh, to virtual franchise, you know, within six, 30 to 60 days, like you'd get an extra 600 bucks. So now, I mean, if you made 300 bucks in the beginning and then you got, you've made 900 extra bucks. So, I mean, I would just go big, you know, I mean, go big. The story is big. I mean, the money that is on the table is significant. The next jump, if you were to do this, you just followed the fast track program and you got the sales coordinator, you know, within uh, uh, four months, you get a thousand bucks. How about that? A thousand extra bucks. Yeah. I mean, I mean I'm trying uh, you know, I'm a very, I just want to approach this very rational, sensible and logical. Those, those are my three big things now. Um, and, you know, got to ask the experts, right? And, uh, you know, I, you know and, and these are great things. So I just want to thank you. And I appreciate, you know, the advice that you've given, because 
now that I've kind of identified my target market and my friends and family are very hypercritical, very highly intelligent, and they don't like being taught things about juice plus. And I've recognized that. And, and you know, the first, I remember the first month, Kristen can back me up on this. It was hard. It was honestly one of the hardest things that I had to try. And I was trying, you know, to be this like new salesman and like, we just had to reinvent kind of my wheel, I guess you could say. And now my, now my social media is good. Now I'm posting videos that say like, you know, powered by juice plus and I'm doing 42 inch job box jumps at the gym and like these crazy workouts that I would never be able to do and playing concerts. So like, and, and this is something that we're working on with the whole, uh, what is it? The success story. I don't really know what it's called, but, um, you know, I, I just want to say like, I'm really thankful that, that you were able to take the time to answer that question. Oh, I'm not, I'm not through with you yet, my friend. You're the most important person on this call. Um, what, <laughs> what, what's your name? Uh, my name's Wesley Scholl. Okay, Leslie, I'm going to be, I'm going to be uh, looking for your name uh, up in lights because y- you got desire. Uh, and this is good. You're asking really good questions. Um, but here, here's a, what I'd like you to do. Uh, and Christian, no doubt, has, has uh, offered this. Um, but go get the, the uh, bonus uh, 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 program, you know, the team building bonus uh, page off of the Internet and, and print that in color and put that right in front of you. OK, and commit that to your memory, commit that to a, a, a conversational uh, piece that you can share with other people. Because when you see people's light go on, um, that's exactly what you need uh, to produce. You need to generate this excitement, this enthusiasm, this possibility of, quite honestly, I'm just going to say greatness. Because the people that follow that program and, and com, you know, actually, they, they comply to this without even knowing it. When you commit to something like this, then the universe starts moving with you, okay? I mean, there's – guys have written about this stuff. It's called Providence Move too. But you start generating a, an energy field around you that attracts people and, and attracts their listening. It turns on their listening. It opens up a window in their mind that quite honestly, for most people, has been shut down for a long, long time. And when that window opens up, you can see it in their eyes. And then you have to, be, you have to use the time judiciously after that. You got about 30 seconds to a, to a minute to deliver uh, uh, you know, a compelling uh, and exciting possibility, you, right? Yep. Yes, sir. I, then, I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, that's so wonderful. And then, then you be quiet and you allow people to think. Let you them have think, done, let them talk for a second. That's, that's exactly it. Let it be their good idea. Don't convince. Do not convince. When, when we persist, we create resistance. Okay? You have to allow. You have to listen. You know, that concept um, that, that, that was shared with me, and I mean, I lo- you can tell I love to talk, but there's a, there is a point where I have to realize that I got one mouth and two ears, and it's time to let people think and see because as they as they think and speak, they begin to see. And yes, that, that's what I mean. That's the sacred moment that you have with people. It's, so it's, utilize it, and and I know you're going to make all of your goals. But have those goals. Yeah. Get that sheet in front of you so that so that you know it inside and out, and you can be completely and totally excited about it. Is this the sheet that you're referring to, or is it a different one? It's hard to see, but this has the numbers and the points, and there's like some fast track thing to S. Oh, Wes, I actually just sent it to you. If you okay. go to uh, on Facebook Messenger, I told you it's page okay. number two, and it actually Thank says um, fast track team building bonus. The only other thing that I um, I don't want to take too much time. I actually have to go. I, I have another company call, but don't worry. Um, the last thing is I. So I have a company that's called Conjo, and it's very near and dear to my heart. And Konjo is an Ethiopian word that means beautiful. 
but it also means good, great, gorgeous, delicious, wonderful, awesome, organic of the earth. And it fits in with the juice plus thing like a hundred percent. I'm trying to brand that as a good thing, right? And I'm, I'd like to do the juice plus in association. How would I take juice plus and Konjo and make something? How would I, how would I, how would I bring those two together? What would you okay. do? Okay. Well, um, we, you have, you have a, obviously you have a website. Yes, sir. You have a website. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, what you can do, and you, you have to talk to a head office um, about this. You just, you kind of get it cleared, but you use something called banner advertising. And in there, just tell your personal stories and then direct them to the banner. You know, utilizing your, you know, your moniker, your theme, you know, of beautiful, delicious, um, you, you know, it sounds like vitality. It just sounds like, you know, and, and just, you know, create it in, in parallel. I, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know what, what your website looks like, but just bring that association right in there, you know, with your personal story and your recommendation. And, you know, just, you know, f for more, um, um, and it was Gong Joe, something? Konjo. K-O-N-J-O. Okay. So, it, you know, in the, oh gosh, what? Uh, uh, in the likeness of Konjo or, you know, the, the verbiage that you would use, you know, um, go check this out and then just have the banner right there you know, so that they can see it. It could be, you know, looking good, feeling good and going faster, you know, transform 30, you know, um, you know, the juice plus banner, whatever, you know, but I, I would do it. I would do it within, uh, within the, uh, the transform 30. I think that that's beautiful because it sort of brings up juice plus inside transform 30. Yes, sir. I mean, I, you know, I've lost a lot of weight, you know, I gained a lot of weight. I lost a lot of weight and, you know, I can't technically say that juice plus was a contributing factor, but just the fact that I was active and fit, I also want to somehow do that in there. And I, I like I said, I don't want to take any more of your time because I, I got to run, but so basically just combine the two on like a website and do a banner ad. I mean, that's, I'm, I'm in web design as well. So I can do that stuff. No problem. It, Absolutely. Is it, is it good to have testimonies from reputable sources as well? Oh, the testimonies are all on the Transform 30. You know, I, as a matter of fact, that's, that's kind of like going to the experts again, using the tools, you know, take the responsibility of all of this education, you know, take it off of your shoulders. Remember, you know, just like you, your family is, they don't like to learn things. I, I don't know why family is this way, but people, we don't need a contest of who, who knows, who knows more, who has more knowledge, me or you, right? It's Take that responsibility off of your shoulders and direct them to Transform 30. It's a free program. And let Transform 30, the free program, you know, do the education for you. That's what I would do. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. Hey, you're very welcome, Weston. It was nice talking to you. Thanks for your great questions. Thank you. All right, you guys. It's good. This has been a good call. Yeah, I'm getting all these messages saying, I love Larry. So you have like a whole new <laughs> fan club. <laughs> I think we could call this Late Night with Larry. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you, you nailed it. Thank you so much for all your enthusiasm. I mean, people ask all the time, do you know people who are in the business, do they get bored? And you are a perfect example that you certainly do not get bored. No, <laughs> you, it's not boring. Not at all. <laughs> Larry, thank you so much. You gave us more time than we even anticipated. We, we can't thank you enough. Oh, you know, Christy, it's been a pleasure, and I look forward to meeting you guys at conference. Yeah. Yeah, St. Louis, October yes. 20th to the 23rd. Mm -hmm. Love it. Okay, <laughs> if you guys, when you get there, come up and say hi to me. I, I'm going to enjoy very much meeting you all. Awesome. Okay, Okay, everybody. Love you. Love you, too. Bye, everybody. Thanks for Thank showing you. up. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. you.